Just want to talk about a little story. Um, my videos on my Wigan Joker page are watched by Wigan Council, and I know this because I used to um, go to the Bellingham Hotel a lot, and um, they had a filming thing going on called the Hotel Inspector, where that horrible woman. That fucking Alex Polizzi. I don't even see it. She's just one of these yeah. fucking the one shit houses. Over educated, over privileged shit house. I don't like this wallpaper, that carrier. Yes, you're a scruffy twat, darling. Why doesn't your dad own Trust House Farty with a <laughs> fucking scarf on? Anyway. Yeah, and um, they've tarted the Bellingham up best they fucking could, you know, fucking. Did you have a Western room in there? Well, they, they used to have one of them, like, yeah, fucking, um, these used to call it, 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 it yeah, it, it fucking was, and I, I'm not sure, did they, did they add that western room, or did they remove they it? it? Oh, yeah, yeah. They used to have the Speedway grill, um, you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway I can't digress. remember. Yeah, the, the, when they tarted it all up, the, um, the Bellingham had an open day. And uh, they invited the mayor of Wigan. Now, bearing in mind, I was spending a lot of time up there. Um, the Bellingham Hotel got a call. And uh, he said, Yeah, he said, uh, Hello, um, this is the mayor's office. Um, it's quite a sensitive subject, really. Um, but this open day, um, Jimmy O'Neill won't be in attendance, will he? And um, they said, well, it's a public event. We can't um, we can't stop members of the public coming. And he says, well, we don't want any embarrassing inc incidents like I'm going to wank off in front of Mer wearing only one shoe, you know. <laughs> well, that, that that is proof that these videos... Do you get what? I often wonder, I made a video, or Ronnie Foster made a video about the Grand Arcade yesterday uh, yesterday years ago and um it made reference to the security guards at the time having pink ties and the pink ties went they became blue ties ah. you know i think the, the, the thing was along how can you be threatened <laughs> threat feel intimidated by a fellow who comes up to you in a pink tie yeah. the ties became blue so i think i think i do not know wigan council do watch my videos um, bearing that in mind, have you any messages for Wigan Council? You don't have to like start giving the fingers to the camera and spitting at it, Mr. H. But respect, mate. I don't know generally. Have you any? No, I've not really got any for them. Um, well, you know. I mean, the only thing is you can say is you you don't need to worry about people making videos and running Wigan down and bad mouthing the town because you've done it all for us. Yeah, basically. You know, we can't top anything. That they have done themselves can we really we should be made an ambassadors and get given trips to angiers or the, wherever it is that oh, we're, yeah, we're twinned yeah, with. with you know it should be fucking twinned with fucking fred kind or circus now basically well, that's it you i know. mean i do think as the people of wigan after that symbolic that they displayed they all the people of wigan are an apology they've made us look like idiots but isn't it a worrying thing now that the people who, who deal the yearly budgets out for boroughs will have seen that and think, right, um, well, you, you know the people who deal the money out? Well, it's, I mean, you know, again, we've got to look at the, 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 the bin lads, and I know we've said is we shouldn't blame them, but they're, they're going to be made the scapegoats because shit rolls downhill, as the old saying goes. Um, and there's no people calling for, well, instead of sending them back to the yard for two hours earlier, why don't we cut a bin crew and then the others can pick the slack up who's left? Yeah. Well, basically, they've done it. They've shot themselves in fucking foot there. I mean, they, they were on a cushy number. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I mean? They could sleep in the vans, go and play fucking ping pong, go home, come back and clock in. Now, if they'd have kept all that from this fucking film crew... Which you think they would? I'm sure, I'm sure they could have done that till they fucking retired. But I get the feeling now that them fucking they've they've done they've done themselves a fucking thicken. Well, they've not just done themselves a thicken. That particular crew they fucked it over for everybody else. I should imagine they've been sent Coventry by the work colleagues. As they you know, I mean, they were. It's it's 
It's the media and these fucking film crews that are the most horrible, nasty bastards. Because they're your friend and the the, the, the while you're with them, the, the 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 best friend you've ever had. And and, and they talk to me, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get you in such a state of confidence. Yeah, I won't film this, Tommy. Don't you? And, yeah, just just say you can't be asked. We're we're not filming now. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever your name is, Ross. You know what I mean? Uh, well, so what? Right, we'll do one for Cameron now. What you'll really think about the council? And we'll just do a test one. All that, you know. There's fucking. Yeah. Well, they they have shot themselves in the fucking foot basically. Um, Very long before there's trackers on their bin wagons again. You know, then it'll be Keith. Can we have a word? Well, can we have uh, a word, Keith. And then it's been stopped for five minutes here in Chatham Street, unauthorised stop. Are they only bit putting chips in bin lids or something like that? that? They had that, didn't they? There they, they, they were certain councils put these chips in bottom of the uh, bin and they could tell what you'd put in them, apparently. Right, right. The fucking, but it caused a problem because the, the app would send somebody around snooping in bin for check what was what. Fucking Sue Catterall. Yeah, and, and there was pe- there was some residents, so obviously, if they've set foot onto your land, private land, for mo- mooching your bin. Yeah. You've got that issue if you're trespassing on my land and what you're doing in my fucking bin. Yeah, it's true. Bing your stirpo. Fucking hell, come to something. Fucking Nora. You know. I mean, I've got one that I'm surprised they've not thought of, Wigan Council, seeing as they're struggling for money. Why don't we have pavement enforcement officers who go round and all these people who ride the bike down pavement stop them and on the spot find them? Well, no, that should be fine because they're just fucking pricks. Well, it's not that, Jimmy. What happens if you get hit with one of these people? Yeah, yeah, I, You yeah. know, I bang in you, in my car, and it's my fault. You claim off my insurance, don't you? Or we, or we do it a yeah, yeah. little bit where Somebody on a push item, they're not bloody insured. They've probably not got two eight in his rub gather, and you're off work for a fortnight to, to God knows what. Well, yeah, it's true. If you're self-employed, it. you're fucked. It's true, isn't it? Some Jimmy Howarth type shouting and fucking screaming at fucking... You know, it's, um, I'm surprised they've not thought of that one. Then <laughs> Don't be surprised if that doesn't happen. Hey, I might be getting offered a job here. Well, you know... I <laughs> can't do no worse than Mr Dunn, can I? Well, no. Terry Dunn. As he had been done. Yeah, yeah. Terry Fugwit from first. Right.